Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to the when the Tuesday show. And sorry about no video yesterday or no real mod video today. I'm gonna do a how to install mods instead of mod videos. I got several requests from a lot of people saying show me how to download mods because they don't know how or they never learned, which is all right. Everyone needs to learn at some point. And this is gonna be that video. And then if you don't want to watch this video, just remember tomorrow is my mod video, so. Be sure to tune back in tomorrow, and let's get right into the video so we're not talking too too. And for the quick video today, we're just going to be talking, showing you several different ways. The one in the easiest way is the uh, Skyrim uh, Steam Workshop. All you do is hit subscribe on the mod you want, and when you open up the launcher, it, down it uh, downloads the mod for you. Simple as that, but not the best way. Skyrim Nexus, uh, you just all you do is make an account, and it shows you right here in the mod manager. You hit the download button, and then you get the Nexus mod manager. And all that does is you go to something like the Sounds of Skyrim, and you go to the files, and you click download with manager. Now that will come up here. It will download, and then it will show up here. Then you just go to your mods, click on it, and you hit that little activate button, right? That little activate button right there. It also shows you a little description of the mod, and it tells you if it's outdated or if it. It's uh, up to date, which is nice and little, but there's a much better way to do this to make sure your mods download correctly and install correctly so you can use them. And I'll, I'm going to show you how I do it every day. And <laughs> Now for me, all I do is hit the download manually button. You just click it and then a little thing comes up here. Make sure you click the one that's closest to you or that is best for you in your area so it downloads the best and quickest. And then. All you do is do this. I have it. I have all my downloads going to a folder called Skyrim Mods, obviously. That and these are all the ones I'm currently using. And then all you do is go into the mod itself. S see, I have a patchy thing here. Here, you just click it. Sometimes it says data. Just double click it, and there's the data folder itself. So j just double click that, and you just highlight these four. Uh, files here and you just uh, drag them on over if it tells you to overwrite anything make sure you click yes and the mod will work next time you open up make sure you uh, drag these all into your data folder right here as you can see I have a uh, computer C uh, programs uh, 68 uh, 86x Skyrim and data and that's where you just put all your mods in they're gonna work thank you guys for watching in the video today remember to rate comment subscribe like the video share the video favorite the video and tune in tomorrow for about six or seven mods if I can get two or three of them working if not it's gonna be the typical four mods a day so thank you for watching this extremely bad and unedited video but it was for the people that needed to see how you do it. If the mod didn't help at all, let me know in the comments and I mean if the mod if the video didn't help at all, leave in the comments, let me know. I'll take the video down and I'll go into a very, very detailed way of doing it. And by that I mean slowly showing off how to do everything and then just doing it into the Vegas Pro and doing a post for voiceover. This way it's a lot better quality for everyone. But I just need to get this out because I have to get out of here in a couple minutes. So thanks for watching guys.